Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. Rosie's joining me for your reading today. So the current energy for this reading is patience. So it's going to require patience for you. Gemini got this also, this portal, going through a portal. All right. The mischief and the magic has to do with the child. The child energy is all about innocence and something that's new, something that's coming into your life that you don't expect. It may be a child, uh, but it'll be something that is like your baby. It could be a project, it could be something creative, but your baby, that is beautiful energy. All right, so what we see as your outcome card is the energy is new beginnings. Again, look at that baby energy, something brand new. And then spirit is giving you the advice, dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Don't get so magnetized to one idea that you close off. This is keep an open mind and enjoy the ride. Enjoy this beautiful period of time in your life, Leo. So let's see what the energy is now for the current situation. You feel the Eight of Swords. There is self-imposed restriction. There's something that you have not acted on that is Gemini energy. So there's something that you're trying that's bothering you, but you're trying not to hear it. <laughs> so given the fact that you have to be patient, it looks as though this is not the time to act on it. You will not act at this time. You're going to keep maintaining your patience. Ah, Knight of Wands energy. What is it that you want to do? This is Sagittarius. Do you want to travel? Do you want to go see someone? Do you want to go on a new adventure? But what this is saying is you're holding back. This energy is you holding back from something that you want to do. So let's see what else we have. Ah, oh, it's about love. You're holding back from love. You want a passionate new encounter with love, but you are holding yourself back. Now let's see, for the magic and the mischief, Seven of Pentacles, the magic comes with an investment in either something like your baby, whatever is your baby, whatever your pet project, your pet goal. It could be really a child but it really speaks to the fact that you are very much invested. There you go again, six of coins. Some of you could get the gift of a baby. Some of you could be investing in this baby of a project. Remember when we look at the baby energy, we're looking at the fifth house of Leo. That's your house, Leo. So we're looking at the sun energy and that is children of your mind and body. It's sex. <laughs> this is a sex card. It's romance. It could be falling in love, which is the cups. But for some reason, Leo, you're not allowing yourself. Maybe you're in love with a Gemini. For That will not resonate with everybody, but it might be someone here who's in love with a Gemini and just has not told Gemini. So... All right, Nine of Pentacles, you are fine. You look like you're single, ready to mingle. Many of you are really looking to begin something in which you can invest in, and it is a pet project or some something new in your life that you seek. It'll be different for everybody, of course. So uh, your outcome energy is new beginnings. Let's see what these new beginnings are going to be based around, okay, letting go of something, walking away from pain. You're walking from pain into a new beginning. All right, makes sense, right? Good reading for you. Two of Cups, a new beginning in a relationship, a soulmate connection, one that you might really like to make a commitment. You might like to invest. It really looks like you want to invest with somebody who you see as very attractive. You are also very attractive. And the hanged man. So your outcome is that you won't act on this. So when we look at the cards this way, what we're seeing is that you don't want to invest in anybody who won't invest in you. That's smart. 
when we look at the energy this way, you want to fall in, so in love with somebody who will invest in you or you will walk away. And when we see the energy, we see this romantic, energetic, passionate energy, giving a lot of passion to the situation, but also giving your heart you know, chakra to the situation, really allowing yourself to fall in love. You're trying to hold back with this hanged man. You're really trying not to fall in love right now, Leo, but I think you're not going to be able to deny this. So let's see what we have for spirits recommendations or advice. Hierophant, invest. Hierophant card is telling you to make this commitment. This is a card of commitment, traditional relationship, institutions, it can be religious beliefs, it can be philosophical beliefs, but basically it's an institution. And in this instance, it's the institution of marriage. So what we see is that, you know, even if you think you want your freedom, Spirit is saying, at least be invested at whatever level you're at in a new beginning. Invest wisely. Look to the future. Look for stability. Taurus energy. Here we go. Taurus energy again. Someone with whom you can really, it, this is Venus energy. So for some of you, Leo energies, um, it really speaks to the fact that you may just fall in love. Look at, we have a pregnant woman here. The Empress is pregnant. We have a child. So for those of you who would only like to have children of the mind, you might want to take precautions. I see you holding back here. But Leo, you're in love. Spirit is recommending you go with the flow. Spirit is saying, you know, even if you don't think you're ready for it, even if you think you're heartbroken, even if you think that you're not ready to invest in anybody, you're not ready to take someone back, Spirit is saying that you should. Ace of Cups. It's a love reading again. I don't know what's going on. Venus and Aries is really, is really presenting you with beautiful energy. But the Ace of Cups says, Spirit's saying, let go. Let, don't try to control your heart. Don't try to control love. This has turned into a reading that is about a relationship in which someone will really be there with you. They will really invest with you. We see somebody, you want somebody with a good career, somebody who's willing to share responsibilities. But more importantly for you, Leo, you want somebody who gets you. You want somebody who understands you. You want someone who understands that you like to have freedom even when you're in a commitment, that you're very stable, that you're very loyal. Even if it looks like you wouldn't be, you want someone who can bring it to the table like you can. So you want someone, you want to invest in someone who invests in you, and you definitely want to build a life and a relationship with somebody with whom you love very deeply and somebody who will share your worldly goals, and that's what I see. So let's look at the clarifiers here for you. So we see the Eight of Swords. So right now you're not ready to step into the parenthood energy. You're holding back. You're enjoying your freedom with this Knight of Wands. You're, you're ready, you will step through that portal, but you are taking your time. You're being very patient before you step into that energy, and that's appropriate. The Knight of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands. You just want to fall in love. This is a falling in love with somebody who has a very passionate um, idea about how life should be lived, how love should be lived. You want somebody as passionate as you are. You want somebody who's going to love you for who you are and somebody who's very communicative. You might do well with another Leo or another fire sign. You probably would also do well with air signs. All right. Six of Cups, somebody from the past. You really, really still love somebody from the past. Look at that. The Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. So you're really very much, you're holding back on contacting them. It looks like you want them to contact you. Um, this person probably is somebody who's very stable, very mature, and very successful in their career, but that matches your energy. When we get the Capricorn energy, you know, you take your work very seriously. And here you are, Leo, 
uh, with that, that baby card. So what do we have? What does this baby mean? Ah, interesting. You are willing to compete for this new idea or project. So to me, this would be work-related. To me, this is not a child. It may be you competing for a spot in a very lucrative kind of business. It could be, um, you're not in the learning phase, but you're not an expert. So it could be some of you will start a program. It could be if you're out of college, an apprenticeship, or if you're in college, an apprenticeship. Ooh, Rosie, what's the matter here? Are you antsy, honey? Um, but what we're seeing here is that you have to compete really hard to get the chance to have this career development. So what we see is that everybody wants this baby, whatever that baby represents, new beginning. A, a lot of people are competing for this new beginning, but you are biding your time. Oh, you get it. <laughs> this is like winning the lottery. Look at that. You, whoever this is, is going to invest in you. So let's switch over to the table view. Okay. So when we look at this energy, the seven of coins is investment. And that is the gift, the magic that you're, you're manifesting. And look at that. You win at this competition for the new beginning looks very career related this is something you have great clarity about this is something you've already invested in this is a project or a situation that's going to bring you bring you greater wealth and stability Hierophant. so you may be entering college you may be getting into a very um, competitive degree program you could be even joining a trade union even though that's, yeah, I'm getting Virgo energy. So you could be really dealing with just an everyday lifestyle that's going to allow you to go to school and to learn more about your passion. It's going to really increase your abundance. So your baby is, it, it appears for most of you, the baby is not literal, it's figurative, and it's a new career path in which you're a newbie. You're the baby. You are the baby. Okay. So again, the new beginnings card here is your outcome. You're walking away from something in the past. Look at this. We have it again. It is clarified. This energy is clarified by the Knight of Wands energy. Moving swiftly. Sagittarius energy. Ninth house. Again, could be higher education. Leaving something in which you really devoted your heart and soul that really didn't work out. And now the pursuit of something brand new. And you're very passionate about this because you have it here in the energy. Now you have it as your outcome. So you have mission accomplished this goal of yours. So let's see what we have for the Two of Cups, the Justice card. It does look like some of you will sign a contract, but for many of you, a new career may also bring about a new marriage. So the Justice card can be partners, legal partners, business partners, but I'm really seeing these as two different things. I feel like this is a love reading for you, and this energy is your outcome, and this is your career reading. I also feel that some of you may have left one relationship, and you're starting another one in which you will make a commitment. You are very likely to marry the person, or move in with them, or sign a lease with them. Very seventh house energy, Libra. Why are you, what are you thinking about? The hanged man is clarifying the hanged man. So though you are ready to do this, you're not ready to do it quite yet. You are waiting again patiently. <laughs> so let's see what else we have. Leo, the Leo King. Oh my God, you're here again in your own reading. Oh, this is delightful. Let's see. Juggling two. You may have two offers coming in. It looks as though you have one love relationship and two different offers for a new beginning in your career. Wow, a very lucrative new beginning. Beautiful energy. So why do we say this and that is true? Don't hold on to your beliefs too tightly. The Four of Coins says let go. You know, don't be too... Um, rigid in your thinking. The Four of Coins can hold on to old things too tightly and Spirit is saying play like a dolphin, be open, you're going to have plenty of security 
Uh, we see this as your advice from spirit is to feel comfortable, enjoy yourself. Uh, it does look like for many of you, you're healing from a divorce or you know, a marital situation or some other situation, a disappointment. For those of you who tried to get to this career spot before and it didn't work out, you're, you know, you're sort of licking your career wounds and you're stepping forward into this brave new beginning for yourself. We get the Empress card, you're charging forth. You definitely are going for what you want. You're going after it. I should actually put this here. <laughs> You're going after your goal. You're going after your manifestation. You're going after the person that you're also in love with. Again, you have all these new beginnings, career and emotional, marital relationship, whatever that is, you know, wherever you're at on the spectrum. And look at that. I feel as though you're on the verge of a brand new career and a new wedding, a new marriage, a new significant relationship. Okay, Leo, this is phenomenal. Oh my God, this is such an amazing reading for you. The energy is so powerful. You have, you're going to go through this beautiful portal and we see it with all, a new relationship possibly even someone who would like to have a child with you, making new plans for your future, but you're taking it slowly, you're taking it a day at a time. You had to fight with all your might to get to have this opportunity. I congratulate you. Mwah! If you like this video, please uh, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Sending you love from Chicago. Send me some back. I just love you guys so much. Take care. Bye-bye.